This video is going to be about how to deal with being pulled over by an aggressive police officer. We're going to show you some skits, reenactments, and then splice it in with explanations as we go. Let's get started. License, proof of insurance, and registration, please. Yes, sir. So we got a couple things going on here. For one, cell phone mounted up on a, a mount for your handlebars, roll video, record the entire encounter. Could be a lot of reasons for that. Leave it going. Two, have your insurance, ID, anything a cop needs to see, registration, somewhere easily accessible, not in the saddlebags, not in the cut. This is to prevent the officer from becoming nervous and also to keep them from having more places to start searching. Let's move on. Sir, do you have a firearm of any kind in your possession? Yes, sir. Do you have a permit for that? Yes, sir. Would you like to show it to me? Right away, sir. In most jurisdictions, it's the law that if an officer asks you whether you have a firearm, whether you have a license for the firearm, you have to answer truthfully. Beyond that, it's just a good idea to let them know anyway, because if they discover a firearm that you concealed, it's going to make them nervous. I noticed the patch on your back. Are you a member of a motorcycle gang? Sir, I don't answer questions. Oh, you're going to be uncooperative now, are you? Sir, I don't answer questions. How many people are there in that motorcycle gang of yours? Sir, I don't answer questions. All right, I see how this is going to be. I think I'm just going to take a few pictures of the patches on your vest. Sir, I don't consent to that. So here our biker is doing two things calmly and assertively. One, he is preventing the officer from extending the investigation beyond whatever the reason for the stop was in the first place and onto the officer's wildest dreams. And two, he is preventing the officer from lawfully extending the stop as most routine traffic stops should take no more than 10 minutes. Have you been drinking, son? Sir, I don't answer questions. Okay, so uh, you don't mind if I check your saddlebags out, do you? Sir, I don't consent to that. Same story, politely, assertively, denying the officer the opportunity to expand the scope of the investigation or expand the timeline of a lawful stop. Importantly, an officer doesn't just have a right to search your saddlebags or your person for no reason. So here our biker is cleverly denying the officer those opportunities. Son, take off those sunglasses. Is that a request or a command? It's a command. I don't consent, but I will not resist. And turn off that fucking cell phone camera. Is that a request or a command? It's a command, son. I do not consent, and I will not resist if you do it. So now the cop's fucking with him pretty good. Uh, and he's holding his ground again, assertively, politely, and trying to differentiate and get the cop to commit to a request or a command. If it's a command, maybe it's a lawful one, maybe it's not, but they've got a badge and a gun. Let a lawyer sort that out later. If it's a request, stand your ground, Refuse, but don't physically resist. Son, I don't like how this is going. You're not being cooperative at all. I think you got something to hide. You need to let me look in those bags right now. Sir, I don't consent. All right, we can do this the easy way, which I can have you on your way in just a couple minutes, or we can do it the hard way. So if you're choosing the hard way, I'm gonna go back to my car and radio in for the K-9 unit. This could take easily an hour or more. Sir, am I under arrest? Not at this point, you're not. Sir, am I free to leave? I'm gonna go back to my radio. Sir, am I free to leave? I'm going to assume that I'm free to leave if you don't tell me otherwise, and I'm going to leave peacefully. So we're seeing some repetition of the earlier dynamics. The officers trying to get in and do a search of the saddlebags. Our biker is smartly denying that. And the officer who has some training in this is gonna know he can't just go in there if he wants his evidence to stand in court. So our officer is trying to get our biker to 
voluntarily sit here and wait for a canine unit, which as the biker eventually figures out, the officers determined this isn't an arrest. I'm not detaining him, even though he won't tell that to the biker. And our biker assertively, politely gets to that point and is able to go free. Now, that officer could have also said, yes, you're under arrest, you're staying here. At this point, this is on film on the mounted camera, and this is hopefully on film on a camera on the officer's chest and in the vehicle. When a county attorney gets this evidence, if there are criminal charges to possibly be made, that county attorney is gonna see the mess that this officer made out of the situation and quite likely gonna want nothing to do with prosecuting such a case.